Are you ready to try this whiskey raspberry glazed ham? It's the perfect idea for Easter. Let me show you how I do it. First thing we want to do to get our fire lit on our Weber is use two Royal Oak tumbleweeds. Get them under our chimney here. Let's get them lit. Now you can see that I've got charcoal stacked around the edges and once this burns up, I'm gonna add them right here and they're gonna snake around to cook this ham. Let's get this set down here and get them burned off. To get started on this easy Easter ham that I'm cooking today on my Weber grill, first thing I'm gonna do is get it tore out of the pack here and I'm not gonna be using the glaze packet that comes with it. You can choose to use it if you want, but I'm gonna pitch it to the side and save it for later. We're gonna get our ham unpacked, dried off, and get ready to come back with a little bit of seasoning. Now that we've got our ham cut out of the pack, I didn't really dry it off except for the bottom. You see I've got a cooling rack here, just a small one that fits in a half pan. I went ahead and oiled it down with a little bit of Pam so I can get this ham on it here. But before I put the ham on it, I'm gonna turn this up here and try to hold my ham pieces. I'm gonna take my honey chipotle rub Let's get all on the outside of this ham, just a little coat. Keep turning that over and shaking it on. Now, once you kind of get it how you want it there, you want to take your ham here and kind of stack it on your rack, get it laid up there. I'm going to take and come down with a little more. Get it all over that. Now, once you've got that coated with rub, we're ready to go on the Weber once our charcoal gets lit and we pour it in our snake method. All right, now that our chimney of charcoal is lit, I'm gonna get it poured in here and then get a pan put in. All right, we've got our Weber calmed down to almost 400 degrees and we've got it set, but I know it's gonna keep dropping the way we've got the vent set. My temp I'm shooting for is around 350 degrees. If, if it runs 375, that's fine too. Just keep a watch on it. Keep rotating that ham is all you gotta do. We're gonna put it on and check it after about 20, 25 minutes and rotate it. So now I'm gonna take the lid off and get this ham on. All right, our ham has been on about an hour and 15 minutes. Now at the 30 minute mark, we got in here and spun our ham around and then I rotated it around again after about 30 more minutes. And so it's about 90 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and get a pad of butter on in a skillet and start making our whiskey raspberry glaze. All right, you can see our butter's melted here. I'm gonna get about two tablespoons of Jack Daniels whiskey in our pan. All right, we've given our whiskey about a minute to kind of cook off here. See it's still steaming. I've got a half a cup of brown sugar I'm gonna throw in here. I'm gonna throw out there. I'm gonna mash that into that whiskey and that butter. and Let it start coming down. And then I'm gonna take this raspberry jam here that I picked up and just start laying it in there. Now we're gonna let all this melt and come to on the grill. And then we're gonna brush it all over this ham. Now you just wanna break that up, get the grill lid shut, it'll start melting. All right guys, our butter has melted, I've whisked it around, our glaze has thinned out some, but the last key ingredient to this is about a quarter cup of maple syrup. And that's about a quarter cup now. Get that stirred around here and let it go for just a few minutes and I'm gonna start glazing that ham. All right, it looks good to me. Let's get the remainder of this glaze off here. Get the grill lid shut and let it tack up. All right, our ham has been on two hours, believe it or not. And would you look at this right here? The color from the roll oak charcoal that it give this ham here and it all christened up. Look at it bubbling right there out of that bone. That nice whiskey raspberry glaze, that tad of maple syrup and butter makes it all caramelized looking. I know it's gonna be good once we let this thing cool. So let's get it off, let it cool for 15, 20 minutes, and let's try a piece. Now that our ham is off the smoker and cooled down, let's go ahead and recap everything. We took our Weber 22 and a half inch kettle, fired it up with a snake method, dumped out a little bit of charcoal on one side so that charcoal could start burning around. We put in a pan with about a half inch of water in it, put our ham over it after we rubbed it down in a little bit of honey chipotle rub. We let that ham cook for about 30 minutes and we started rotating it side to side every 30 minutes. We didn't show all that on camera, but that's what we did. Once it hit about 125, 130 degrees, I added the glaze on the grill, let it melt down really fast, 
That description of that recipe will be below and we'll flash it up on the screen. But it's got butter, it's got raspberry jam, it's got Jack Daniels in it, it's got a little bit of brown sugar. And so it all comes together very well and plays good on this ham here. Now I use seedless raspberry jam just because that's what I prefer. But you do you, you can switch that out and use any type of jam or jelly that you want. This ham right here smells incredible. It's got a good, good bark on it. It's caramelized up. And there's not but one thing left to do, and that's get in here and try some of it. So let's pull a piece out, because I'm gonna cut this ham up and serve it on Easter dinner. So I'm gonna go down here and get me a piece, and it's still warm. I'm gonna tear a piece out of that. And that ham right there, it's glazed up on the edges, nice and warm. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm. That ham picked up a nice hickory smoke flavor from that Royal Oak charcoal, and I didn't use any wood. I'm gonna tell you, this ham on the Weber is simple, easy to do. If you like what we're doing on the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and of course, YouTube. I'll see you next week with another video.